and welcome to this fantasy hair tutorial. I'm a big fan of Assassin's Creed, so while I haven't done any video game styles before, I really wanted to show you this easy updo worn by Evie Fry in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It involves two Dutch braids and a bun in the back. So what you need to do first is make a slightly off-center part like Evie has. Then draw another part from behind your ear up to the back end of the part on top of your head. Grab all the hair in front of this part and tie it off for now to keep it separate from the rest of your hair. Also draw a part from ear to crown on the other side of your head to gather up another section that you tie out of the way. I'm also going to put the rest of my hair in a ponytail to keep it apart from the hair I want to braid. Now it's Dutch braid time. Release one of the forward sections from its hair tie and grab a little bit of hair from the section that's along your forehead. Split it into three even strands. To Dutch braid, weave the top strand underneath the middle so the two switch places, and then weave the bottom strand under the middle. Pick up some more hair from next to your part, add that to the top strand, and weave this new larger strand underneath the middle. Pick up some hair from along your side hairline, add it to the bottom strand, and weave under the middle. Keep adding in more hair and weaving the strands under each other like this in an alternating pattern to form the Dutch braid. If you keep the strands centered between your top part and your ear as you weave them into the braid, it'll form in a nice straight line towards the back of your head and we can make both braids symmetrical in the end. When there's no more free hanging hair to add into the Dutch braid, just braid normally at this point. If your hair is shorter than your armpit, braid down to the ends of your hair and secure with a hair tie. If your hair is longer, just braid to about shoulder level and tie off the braid here. Next, release the other section of hair on the other side of your head and Dutch braid this as well. Remember, to keep this braid symmetrical with the first one, try to keep the strands centered between your part and your ear. If your braid has a sort of loose and stretched out look that you don't like, add in smaller amounts of hair to each strand so you can get more stitches in before you run out of hair. That'll make it look tighter. When there's no more hair to add in, braid normally for a while and then tie off the braid. Evie has pretty thick braids. Some of us don't have as much hair, so if you want your braids to look thicker, pull on the braid sections sideways like this. This loosens them a bit to make it look like you have more hair in the braid than you actually do. For the next part, release the ponytail behind your head and bring your braids together at about ear level. Tie them together with a small hair tie, and then release all the braiding below this tie. Now gather up all your hair, including the tails of the braids, and twist it all up tight. In the same direction as you twisted, start wrapping the twist around its base in a spiral formation. As you make the spiral, stick some bobby pins underneath the bun so they hook some bun hair and some head hair. Put in multiple pins in one position so you can get the pins to cross underneath the bun, which holds them in place better. Keep wrapping your hair around the bun, pinning in several places as you go, until you finally reach the ends of your hair. Tuck these ends underneath the bun to hide them and pin in place. Now you're good to go with Evie Fry's Dutch braids and bun. Thanks for watching my first ever video game tutorial, and if you want to see more cool hairstyles from popular media, click the links to my YouTube channel, or visit www.sivuplates.com where you can also sign up for email notifications each time there's a new video to watch. Have fun styling, and I hope to see you again.